Hello everyone. Hope everyone out there is doing good today on this December the 5th, 2022, last month of the year. Christmas coming up very quickly. And Thanksgiving is behind us now. And over Thanksgiving, not only did what did I have a light case of the flu, but I got something in the mail to test that I didn't expect. And uh I'm just going to show it to you right now. And this is the Samlex switching power supply. It's model SEC-1235P-M. This is the updated model of the 1235, I believe. And um, yeah, I got this unexpectedly unexpectedly in the mail to test and I've been testing it the last uh, few days with my receiver it's a uh, universal input 100 240 volts AC it's power factor corrected it complies with the minimum energy performance standards you can read the box there I'll zoom in a little bit you want to read that it's had some circuit improvements Plus a few little design improvements over the 1235. It's a uh, really a nice looking power supply. That's different language. There's a side. And here's a little bit of technical stuff about it if you want to read it. And um, now a lot of people, you know, and I'm one of them, I've, you know, everybody says stay away from switching power supplies, stay away from switching power supplies. And it's true. Some switching power supplies are very noisy, <clears throat> but some are quiet. Now, this one happens to be very, very quiet. Now. I am not a ham operator, so I don't have a tra I'm not using a transceiver with it. So I can't get the harmonics really cranked up when you're up there to 20, 25 amps. I'm just using it on my ICOM 8600. And from what I've tested, I went all the way from below long wave up to 500 megahertz continuous tuning and absolutely no noise at all none uh completely quiet no weird spikes in the waterfall no nothing so let me uh get this box out of the way and i'll show you what it looks like and we'll start with the back let me get around here okay now they've retained these sort of connectors here which is not bad you get these little um connectors in the bag with them you can put your wire on there then it goes in here and you tighten these down with an allen wrench now some you know i it would have been better for binding posts and banana plugs or anderson power poles or whatever but if you want what i've I'd done is these holes right here will fit a banana plug and that's how I have my icon plugged in I just push my banana plug in there and tighten it down works perfect but if you have Anderson power poles or something like that you could just take about a 6 to 12 inch piece of wire put the end on here put it in here and then put your Anderson power poles on the end like a little pigtail and plug it in like that and that works but this you know this is a good system uh the fan has been moved to the back now on the previous model the 1235 it was underneath underneath here and i really don't see how that could circulate air real good but you know but on this model they've moved the fan to the back and it's very very quiet you got your standard three prong sort of computer type plug which is good but the back is very simple. Top is clean. The side, you got a, a vent on each side for 
air to circulate. And there's one on that side. And here's the bottom. Got a little label there and you can see all that. That's the bottom. Got some nice rubber feet there. It don't move. Now the front, the front has been redesigned a little bit. If you look at the 1235, uh, the meters are different and very nice. They have these little screws on the bottom here. And if you take it out of the box and you, you set it up and you notice the needle is not right on zero, you can adjust these little screws to zero your meter out and calibrate it. Uh, you got your standard lighted toggle switch. And then over here, there's another feature they've added I like. Is this little switch here allows you to turn the, the meter back lighting on and off. So you can just, I can't see where I'm at. You can turn it on, the meter lights will come on. Turn it off, the meter back lights will go off. It's very, I like that design too because... And the and the meters, the backlights are LED, and but they're not real super super bright. I mean they're bright, but they're not real bad. But yeah, there's the power supply. And again, you get you know you get the box, you get a nice little manual that comes with it. And a little brochure of different things and then you get this little bag with an allen wrench and uh, the two connectors there you can solder wire into if you want but as i said it's a from what i've found it is completely quiet no noise whatsoever in your receiver waterfalls clean uh, it's very quiet. If the fan ever did come on, I didn't know it. It's up on my shelf. I I didn't see it or hear it or feel it or anything. But it is it's a very quiet power supply, both you know with the RF and everything. Again, I'm not a ham operator, so I don't know how it would be on a transceiver. If you're putting some amps through it and the harmonics start dancing and stuff in there i don't know but as from a receiver side you know point of view completely quiet as i said i went all the way from below long wave up to 500 megahertz before i stopped and that was continuous tuning just looking at the waterfall and it was completely clean and it's very light this weighs about three and a half pounds where my linear supply weighed probably 15 for the same size and uh, but this so far what i found this is a very good power supply again it's an updated model the newest model that re i don't think it's replacing the the 1235 i think this is just a the the new model it's been out for a little bit now but uh, i didn't ex didn't even expect to get one and all of a sudden something shows up at my door and this is it. So I am going to, I'm going to use this for a good while now because, you know, with electric prices the way they are and stuff, this will be more energy efficient and it's still quiet. It's not going to give me any problems. Uh, I've been using it now for four or five days. I've had it on for at least three hours a night for four or five days straight just to see if it overheated or it shut off or did anything weird hasn't done nothing been rock solid but if you're needing a power supply and you know you read a lot of people read a lot of people's reviews they all oh, stay away from switching power supplies well this one would probably work for you you don't have simple on off meter lights on off you, there's no noise offset that you have to turn it's just it's completely completely rf quiet and it retails i think for less than 200 uh it depends you know where different prices different on the internet and stuff like that but it's 
it's a good power supply. I would so far from what I've seen, I uh, I would recommend to use this. So anyway, I'm gonna back on out of here and got some things to do. I just wanted to do a quick video to show this and but it's a uh, yeah, it's the Samplex Power model SEC 1235P-M. So until next time, take care everyone. Okay, here's just another little quick um thing on this power supply i said it had lighted meters but you have a switch right here and uh this is what they look like when you when you light them up camera makes it brighter than it is probably but that's the way they look and if you don't want them on you just power them off pretty neat and you can see the meters it's a very nice little power supply I I really like it but that's the way the meters look when they're on it's really hard to get this camera to do it that's the way they look when they're on if you want them off power them off and that's it so, thanks for watching again, and I just wanted to show you what the lights look like. So, take care, everybody.